Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we are unboxing the Plans Employees expansion for Tapestry. Now, I already have one, the other expansion, which is what, it's the art one. What's that one called? Arts and Architecture. Yeah, I already have that one, which is a lot of fun. This is the other primary expansion. Uh, I believe there's a new one coming, Fantasies and Futures, or maybe that one's already out. So I don't have that one either. This is the original expansion though, I believe. Looks like this one, yeah, 2020. Arts and Architectures was 2021. And then uh, Fantasies and Futures was listed on BGG as 2023. So I'm pretty sure it has come out, but I haven't actually seen that one yet. Uh, so we're gonna get into this. This was sent over to us by Stonemeyer Games. So let's unbox it. All right, so here we go. We've got, of course, the rule book right here on top. Uh, one, two, three, like two and a half pages of rules, really. Looks like we've got, so let's see, some setup changes, new tapestry cards, always fun. New space tiles, always fun. Uh, new civilizations, fantastic. New tiebreaker, replacing the original tiebreaker rule. The new tiebreaker is the player with the tallest landmark miniature in their capital city. That's interesting. And then some civilization adjustments as well. Uh, here are the plans employees rules for solo play actually more in depth than oh No, 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 we've got scenarios. Okay, so the solo play rules Are like again roughly the same amount as the regular rules And then you got some scenarios here looks like five scenarios All right, then we've got the new space tiles here, five new space tiles. We've got these, uh, these right here are, you put them on the board uh, to show that a, a particular landmark has not been taken yet. Just makes it easier at a quick visual glance to uh, see which ones of these have not been taken. Um, because, you know, when they are taken, there'll be, it'll be a, just the black and white picture image that's on the board already. So we've got a, a bag here. That's interesting. I'm not sure what that's going to be for. All right, so we've got spies, advisors, treasure hunters, infiltrators, recyclers, tinkerers, Aliens, utilitar uh, yeah, utilitarians, islanders, and river folk as the new civilizations. And then we've got a number of new buildings here. Nothing, nothing underneath. Let's see what these buildings are. Let's see. So here we've got some landmarks. So the urban farm is this one right here. At the end of your turn, if you have at least six uh, possible exploration tiles in your supply, gain this landmark. The digital studio is this one here. At the end of your turn, if you have at least two complete districts in your capital city, gain this landmark. The skyscraper here. At the end of your turn, if you have at least one complete row or column in your capital city, gain this landmark. Uh, the game store. At the end of your turn, if you have at least one technology in your top row, gain this landmark. TV station. Oh, wait, this one? Yes, this one. At the end of your turn, if you have at least three income buildings of the same type in your capital city, gain this landmark. All right. And then let's see, some new tapestry cards here. Manifest Destiny, World's Fair, Entertain the Masses, Infrastructure Boost, Status Quo, Surprise Party. Oh, that doesn't look great. Wait, oh, actually, hold on. You may discard this from your hand when an opponent tries to conquer your territory. If you are further advanced on the military track than they are, you can't... Oh, you can 
You can discard if you are further advanced in military track. You can't also play a trap. If you do, topple their outpost and gain 15 points. Wow. Double cross. You may discard this from your hand if an opponent plays a trap against you. If you do, cancel their trap and gain 5. Stolen plans. You may discard this card from your hand if an opponent plays a trap against you. If you do, cancel their trap and gain a random tapestry card from their hand. Surrender. You may discard this card from your hand if an opponent conquers your territory. You can't also play a trap. If you do, roll the conquer dice after the opponent and gain both benefits. Wow. Retreat. You may discard this card from your hand if an opponent tries to conquer your territory. You can't also play a trap. If you do, move your outpost to any adjacent territory you control, even one with two tokens, and gain um, people. Population. Uh, architecture. This era... When it, whenever you gain an income building, you may gain any type of income building instead. Cartography. When played, gain a uh, territory tile and explore it. If you gain at least three points from the exploration, you may also conquer the territory. Engineering. This error. Whenever you invent a technology, immediately upgrade it to the middle row and gain the benefit. Astronomy. When, when played, gain one territory tile, and two space tiles. Explore the territory tile. Keep the space tiles in your supply. They can be explored in the same ways as any other space tile you gain. Public works. This era, after you advance on a track, if it is the least advanced track, ties count. Gain three points. Manifest Destiny. We didn't actually read this one. When played, conquer a territory adjacent to your capital city territory. Then you may gain the benefit on any territory tile you control. World's Fair, when played, gain one uh, I can't remember, culture, then gain anything if you complete at least one row or column of your capital city. Also, gain one point per completed district in your capital city. Entertain the masses, when played, gain the stadium landmark and place it in your capital city. Stadium is this one. Infrastructure boost. This era, whenever you gain an income building, you may place it on a territory you control that has exactly one outpost and no other tokens. If you do, gain five points or the benefit on that territory. Status quo. When played, choose up to four of your advancement tokens in different tiers, one through four, then gain their current bonuses, if any, for free. Nice. Okay, and then there's uh, these cards in here just for solo play as well. So that's everything that comes in the box for Tapestry Plans employees. Be sure to come back and check out an instructional video we'll put out for this in uh, a little bit, as well as some other great content we've got. We're currently working our way through how to play the Kingdom Death Monster Gambler's Chess expansion. We've got two videos out for that so far. And how to play Dungeon Universalis. We're about to film part two. That should be the next video we film after this. And until next time, if you're bored online, or offline.